for my bad bitch. I'm pretty than a motherfucker. Hoes be looking okay. Yeah. She fucking with me. Is this bitch okay? He said he ain't fucking around. I look at him like, okay. I used to be. I bought I bought I bought I'm pretty than a Hey YouTube, good morning y'all. So today is Wednesday, August 21st, and it is 9.02. I'm up early because I need to go to Target and go back to school shopping. As y'all can tell by the title, this is a back to school video. And yeah, I only got a few things I need to pick up because this is my last semester in college, thank God. But um, yeah, I only need a few things to pick up because this semester i'm not going on campus so i really don't need a lot of school supplies but it is some stuff that i need i made a list on my phone and yeah we're about to go right now because y'all know i like to get to target early because it'd be a whole lot of people in there and i just don't like being around a lot of people so did my hair wash my face brush my teeth all that i was gonna make some coffee before i left but i'm just make some coffee when i get back but yeah let's go So I made it into Target, but it looks like they ain't got shit in here. So I don't know, I might have to go to Walmart if they don't got what I need. But we're about to look around first. I think I went school supply shopping a little too late. But I didn't want to go early because school don't start for me until another week soon. So I don't know. Y'all like, it's empty in here. Like they ain't got shit. Like nothing, y'all. Let me check the other house. <laughs> yeah, they really ain't got nothing. I think I'm just about to go to Walmart. Then they don't have nothing. They got pens and pencils, but no notebooks. And that's what I really need. Like they got uh, pencils and sharpeners and all that. But they have no notebooks and I need notebooks. So, dang, I just drove all the way out here and they ain't like shit. Well, I'm about to leave because I need to go to Walmart then. Hopefully Walmart still got some stuff. I don't know. So I just decided to get um, hygiene stuff out of here for school. That's the school supplies. And then I'm going to go to Walmart and get the school supplies. Okay, y'all. So I found another school shopping area they have a few stuff these 75 cents so i'm gonna pick up two yeah i ain't even gonna tell y'all how long it took me to find this but yeah i need to pick up some more good molecules and this buy three get one free But they really don't have anything else on here I want. So I am done in Target. I did not know that that 
um, the good molecules was $11. That's crazy that I've been paying that much for skincare. But, you know, it is what it is. So I'm gonna check out and then we're gonna head to Walmart to actually get school supplies. Okay, y'all, I'm in Walmart. My car is squeaking. Anyways, I'm in Walmart. I'm actually trying to find a fall decor instead of looking for school supplies. I just want to see what they got so that next time I come in here, I can get it. But yeah, we about to head to the school supplies and see if they got everything that I need. I just need to pick up some notebooks and some pants and that's it. Yeah, they had the one subject college rule ones. They actually have some cute colors. I actually like this color. But I really wanted pink and white. They don't have none of that. I mean, all my classes is online, but I'm in college. I know we're going to be writing a lot, reading a lot. Yeah. I don't know. Right now, all I got is one white notebook. Cause they don't have no other cute colors. I might just do yellow. Yeah, I don't know. Okay, so I need pens. They do have a little fall decor out. Oh, they got the pumpkin. I really wanted this. I think I'm gonna buy it. I think I'm gonna buy it, y'all. To go on my bed. This would be so cute. Ugh, I did not come in here for this. All right, so I went to the other side of the store to get some more school supplies. I really just need some pens and maybe some Sharpies. Um, but yeah that's pretty much it y'all i'm just trying to see which ones i'm gonna get i really don't write in pen a lot but i just buy them just in case sometimes they're gonna give me a pack of these so i'm back home i'm about to make me some coffee real quick and take dakota out and then i'm gonna show y'all everything that i got back it is 10 54 i made my coffee um, I really shouldn't be drinking this because I have had nothing to eat, but, mm, you can see the caramel at the bottom. I mixed that a little bit. So we're going to start with Target. Y'all, I went into Target. What the fuck is going on with my camera? So I fixed my camera. That's better. I was trying to figure out in the store like why it was doing that it was like turning dark on my face like y'all couldn't see like it, it was just a whole lot but now i didn't fix it uh, the first stop i went to is target y'all know i love target but when i went in there this time for school supplies they were empty they didn't have nothing so i just got like a little stuff like some of my skincare stuff that i needed to you know um restock on I got a little bit of my skincare stuff from out of there and then I got like one or two things for school supplies not very much but we're gonna say that for Walmart anyway so the first thing that I got well the first two things that I got was some index cards they were 75 cents so I bought two my mom needed some so yeah I really don't use index cards like that well, I did like the first two years of college, like I was using them heavily because, you know, I would use them to study and stuff. Not saying that I don't study anymore, it's just the classes that I take now, I really don't think I will need index cards like that, but I just got them just in case. So I picked me up some index cards. Give me some more Johnson Baby Lotion. Y'all know I love Johnson Baby Lotion. 
it's my brand, Johnson. If you know my last name, then you know. I love Johnson Baby Lotion. Use use it all the time. Yeah, so I had to pick me up some more. And I had to pick up some more of my skincare. And this is what I was talking about in the store. I did not know that the Good Molecules um, Discoloration Serum was $11. You mean to tell me all this time I've been paying $11 for this? This little bitty bottle? This bottle lasts me probably like two months. Probably not even that because I'll be putting a lot of this on my face. But yeah, like $11 for this is it's outrageous. I'm sorry, it is. But I'm going to still buy it. And then I got this one for $5 because it was like in the little buy three, get something free area. But yeah, this is the um, brightening toner. And then, yeah, sponsor me, please. Y'all know I love me some good molecules. It really, really do work for my skin for real. Some more Q-tips because we have ran out of Q-tips and yeah, you need to clean your ears. That's probably why you can't get it here. But yeah, moving on to Walmart. And now this is like kind of like the food supplies. I really didn't have to get much. And that's what I was trying to tell y'all. Like, I really didn't have to get much because this one is my last semester. Two, I have a bunch of notebooks that I still haven't used um, from last year or the year before. Because I, I overbuy with notebooks and stuff just in case. You never know, you know? But um, I didn't get no binder because I don't need no binder. All of my stuff be in notebooks, folders, or on my computer or on my iPad. So, yeah. Anyway, I picked me up some pens because I did need some more pens. I didn't need any pencils because I bought like this. I think it was like a hundred pack of pencils like a year ago. And I still use them to this day. Like I haven't even touched it like that. Rarely use pens, but you know, some professors be like oh you gotta write a pen in my class or you know certain stuff like that and then i got me me three notebooks i got three notebooks i really wanted pink i know i kept saying that while i was in there but they didn't have pink so i did get white which was on my list of the colors that i wanted and then i just picked up this green one and then i picked up this yellow one which i actually like a lot but yeah this is the five star notebooks, but um, it's the one wide notebook. I didn't get the three or the five because I have like four of those in my drawer right now and I can still use them. So I just ended up getting the one ruler. And then while I was in Walmart, I knew that they had their fall stuff out. I don't know if I've seen any fall decor in Target. I didn't see none, but then again, Target didn't, when I say they didn't have nothing in there, they really didn't have nothing in there. But anyway, so went to Walmart, go to their fall decor area because I seen on TikTok that they had that pumpkin pillow. And I was like, I really want that for my room because it'll match the aesthetic of my room. My, my colors in my room are like fall colors, cream, white, you know. So yeah. And then I saw it and it was only $11. So I had to pick it up. I just thought this was so cute. This is gonna be so cute on my bed. Like, this is gonna sit there. And they did have some other stuff in there, but it was like for like your house. I'm trying to decorate my room, not the outside of the house. But that was most of all of the fall decor that they had in there. And I was glad that I seen that pumpkin pillow because when I tell y'all I seen it on my timeline on TikTok so many times and I was I was gonna buy it from Amazon and at Amazon it was twenty dollars and I'm glad I seen it at Walmart because it was eleven dollars. That's everything that I got from Walmart and Target school supply shop and I guess you could say really not but you know I picked up a little stuff for school. Today is Wednesday I start school Monday so I have five more days Thursday, Friday, Saturday, Sunday. Yeah, I got four more days until school start for me. I'm not even gonna tell y'all how stressful this last week has been for me. I freaking hate that school. I know I say this every year, y'all, but when I tell y'all I really hate this school, like, they piss me off. Financial aid fucking sucks. Advisor, they suck. Administration sucks. Everybody there sucks. I do not recommend this school for nobody. And I should have listened to my mama back in 2020 
when I came back home because COVID happened and she told me don't go no I'm gonna go I'm gonna go I want to go to a HBCU da, da, da. no I should have listened because that school fucking sucks yes I said it they suck like I got my financial aid good like in June like right before we went on vacation and everything was fine then I get an email last week on Thursday I believe saying like oh you owe a balance for your summer classes that you took over the summer. Y'all yeah, know I took one summer class. So I guess I owe the balance on that. You know anything about taking summer classes in college, you have to pay out of pocket. Like financial aid usually don't cover summer courses. Sometimes they do, sometimes they don't. But yeah, so basically they didn't cover it and I had to come out of pocket. And TSU basically emailed me and was like, hey, if you don't pay this money, you're going to be dropped from your classes today. So I'm running around. I'm running around trying to email people, email my advisor, email them financial aid, call them financial aid, email them student accounts, trying to figure out what I can do so that I don't lose all of my classes for the fall semester coming up. Like, this is my last year. Like, I don't want to not be in school and then have to wait till next year to graduate, you know? Anyways, y'all, it was just a real stressful week. I ended up getting it resolved, and it wasn't because of TSU, it was because of my parents. When I tell y'all, this school just irritates me so much. But I'm just praying over this semester, and hopefully this semester is real a breeze for me, real easy, and I just graduate in December and never look back. Just don't recommend that school, zero out of 10. I'm sorry, like the last, what is it, 2020? The last five years that that school has been, every year is something. Like literally every year is something with them. Get into the advice, college advice, school advice, part of this video. Talk about with y'all, just in case some of my subscribers or viewers that's watching this right now are either first year in college, or you know, you've been in college or your first year in high school, whatever i feel like this applies to both college and high school a little bit your freshman year is the year you probably gonna be wilding and i say that because most kids they're either leaving home for the first time moving to another state for the first time not being around they mama and they daddy telling them what to do and when to come in and when to go to bed and do your homework and do that so your first year i'm pretty sure you're going to while out most people do you you'll see if you go to like a community college or a junior junior college i feel like you you gonna see how everybody acts the first year and you gonna know that they are freshmen because they it's literally like high school like you know how you could always tell like who's a freshman and who's a senior because I'm telling you, when you get to college and you don't got them rules and you don't got your mom and daddy on you, you get to wilding and you get to doing your own thing. And you know, basically just being grown and growing up, basically. But, but also, please be in the books. Be in class, go to class, because they will mark your ass absent and you will get an F and you will flunk out. And you don't want to be that person flunking out of college. That's that's embarrassing so go to class and do what you need to do because you didn't come to college and pay all this money to flunk out to fail classes no I mean you have to be strict with yourself but it's gonna be hard because you don't have like your parents or anybody on you talking about like hey you gotta do this you gotta do that you gotta do that you literally on your own and them professors are not going to be on you they gonna give you that syllabus for the year and you gonna have to know like oh this is when I gotta turn this in this is when we got a test they're not gonna let you know none of that stuff and when I was in high school a lot of my high school teachers used to tell us that and I used to be like they just saying that to scare us no when you get to college these professors really don't care they don't care what you got going on make friends y'all I did not make friends I'm telling y'all to make friends and I still haven't made no friends in college and I'm a senior. I made, okay, I'm not gonna lie. I made like two good friends, but that's it. Like, make friends in college for real. Make sure you're on top of your school. You also having fun and you know, you know, just balance. 
balance. My next advice is if you can get a scholarship, please get a scholarship. Apply to all the scholarships that you can. And I'm not just talking to y'all when I say this, I'm talking to myself because I make good grades and I have a really good GPA, but I don't be applying to scholarship or looking out for scholarships or none of that. College is expensive. So if you know that your parents don't have it and you know that you don't have it, please apply to scholarship if you know you have good grade curricular activities. Please apply to them scholarships, y'all. Like, that could help you out so much. That's why when I get into medical school, I'm hoping that I'm on a full ride because I do not want to pay out of pocket and I do not want to depend on financial aid. Financial aid is, I'm sorry, they give people money, but it be iffy. Like, you'll get a, they'll cover just enough for you. Like, they'll cover just your classes and then you got to figure out the rest. Please apply to them scholarships. Save your money. If you have a job while you're in high school, save that money with a deal. I did not save. I saved money for like my dorm room, like shopping stuff. I saved for that, but I did not save for like gas and food and stuff like that. But luckily I had parents that were sending me money when I was in college my first year, like send me stuff to go like grocery shopping and stuff like that. I know a lot of people don't have parents like that or they just don't have people in their corner like that and they just have to figure it out on their own. But if you have a job right now and you're in high school and you're on your way to college, please save that money, please. Also, if you can get a job while you're in college, cause I know a lot of colleges, well not a lot of colleges, every college has a work study where you can work on campus and they'll pay you you know to work it's like a, it's it's a job basically but yeah if you can get work study get work study i tried to get work study i think my sophomore year um but it didn't work out i don't know why it didn't work out but yeah i think because they don't, they don't pay a lot the work study don't pay a lot but it's enough to help you throughout the months when you when you're struggling and you can't get no food or you, you know anything anything that you need apply to them scholarships see if your school has work study apply for that yeah and save your money y'all and i'm literally i'm saying this but i don't even do it but i need to learn to save my money like for real my other advice is i know a lot of people in college change their major you are gonna meet so many people in college that <laughs> it's so funny you're gonna meet so many people in college especially your first year not even your first year just all throughout college that don't know what what the fuck they doing or why they here they just here because they didn't have nothing else to do like it'd be a lot of people you will be sitting in class with somebody and you will ask them what they major and they would be like they and they don't know yet they undecided they just here and I know like sometimes people, you know, they go and they don't know what they want to do. But I just feel like if you're spending all this money and getting all these loans out to go to college, you should know what you want to do. That's just my opinion because you're wasting your time and this is money you got to pay back. And you mean to tell me you don't know what you want to do? You need to figure it out. You need to figure it out quick. So I was saying that to say that changing your major is totally fine. I've met a lot of people in college that have changed their major three and four times, and that is okay. Sometimes you think like, oh, I want to do this, and then when you get in those classes and you take those classes, sometimes you're like, mm, no, this is too hard, or mm, this really ain't my thing like I thought it was. That's just how it be sometimes. Like, it is okay to change your major. Do not, do not feel some type of way because you had to change your major to something else that was more comfortable for you or something that you like more girl this is your money this is your degree that you're trying to get change that major if you want to change that major period but yeah so i'm taking six classes this semester and i know i told you guys like this um semester my classes are online i really got lucky y'all like when i say i got lucky to have all my classes online because y'all last few years that well this last year because i think i only have my youtube channel for a year now but this last year of me having to commute to college has been so stressful like i literally hate waking up and having to drive all the way to houston and then drive all the way back to katie 
study, do homework, wake back up and do it all over again. So I'm so lucky that my classes are online this semester. And I know y'all probably like, okay, what's your, cla what's your class has been online? Like, how are you going to film college content? But I have it all planned out. Like some days I might just do like a day at home, college edition, or sometimes I might go to like the coffee shop and just do homework there or go to the library that's over here somewhere. Yeah, I might just, you know, have to switch it up sometimes because I don't plan on going to, going to campus unless, unless I have to, you know? Unless I have to, that's the only thing. But yeah, I'm taking six classes this semester, all online. Um, I'm actually really excited. I don't know if it's because it's my last year or I don't know, I think that's why I'm really excited for this semester. Yeah, um, I am still in the process of trying to find a job. I do, I don't wanna say I have a job lined up, but it's basically lined up. I just have to go tomorrow in the morning and finish off what I have to do and hopefully I'll be working by Monday by the time school starts. But yeah, so first day of class, for me is Monday. I need to make a schedule for myself to see how I'm gonna do school this semester because I never had all of my classes online before. Well, I have when COVID happened, but when that happened, we had like certain times we had to get on the Zoom call. So it was already scheduled out for me. This time, most of my classes is not Zoom call. It's like log in, do the work that's there, and then yeah, that's how you get your grade. Try to make a schedule and Make sure everything is organized before Monday. I'm so excited for school, y'all. I know that's weird to say, cause like, you're really excited for school, but I'm excited because it's my last semester and I'm just really ready to get it over with. Tell me who, who's giving all my love. But that was everything that I got from Target, everything that I got from Walmart. Yeah, thank you guys for watching. Make sure you like, comment, and subscribe. And I will see y'all for the first day of school. Don't, don't play with it. Don't be this size. Still not